Hello, let's look at the classification of anti Parkinsonian drugs. So, the classification is divided into two. First, drugs affecting brain and dopaminergic system and drugs affecting brain cholinergic. So first let's see, uh, so first let's look at the dopaminergic system. So how can we remember this? It's like PMCD. So PM means Prime Minister, there is something serious CD is the, so Prime Minister's CD. So how, let's expand this first, first for P stands for peripheral decarboxylase inhibitor. So drugs are carbidopa benzeraside then comes m m means c m a o b inhibitor see they have given all alphabets here like m a o b inhibitor so example is selegiline so followed to, uh, next to that uh, is comt inhibitors so it's instead of comma c o m a here it is COMT inhibitors. So drugs are endacapon, talcapon, followed by what's the first D? It's dopamine precursor. Example is liver dopa. Followed to that dopamine facilitator. So it's amantadine. Example is amantadine. So these all are the drugs affecting brain dopaminergic, dopaminergic system. Okay. So remember PMCD, Prime Minister's ZD. So P stands for peripheral decarboxylase inhibitor followed by MAO inhibitor. Then C stands for COMT inhibitors followed by dopamine precursor and dopamine facilitator. Next is drugs affecting brain cholinergic. So the, it's uh, two divisions are the that's are antihistamines uh, then followed by central anticholinergics. So uh, how to remember this? So it's easy. It's easy, you know, air conditioner, right? In hot days, especially in summer, we always look for air conditioners. So it's uh, that is the clue for this world. Drugs affecting brain cholinergic. So, anti first A stands for antihistamine. So, example of that is orphanatrine, promethazine, followed by for, uh, for C, central anticholinergics. So, drugs are tri trixyphenidryl and pro uh, procyclidine. Okay, so AZ means antihistamine and Central anticholinergics. So let me simplify this peripheral decarboxylase inhibitors much more into much more simpler way. So let me do that for you. So its uh, examples are uh, again carbidopa and benzodiazide. First one peripheral DE car. So it's peripheral, it's peripheral here again, peripheral we are uh, familiar with that word. Then comes D, so it, it's DE, then followed by it's car, box, silase. So it's car, so let me check. Car, box, silase. it's peripheral decarboxylase, okay. Then followed by carbidopa, carbidopa, how to split that word? It's a uh, car by dopa. How to remember? So if uh, in a car, this is, we are talking about a car here. In that car, the specialty of that car is two person can travel by means two. So it's like who uh, suppose girlfriend and boyfriend is traveling in this car. So it's like car by dopa. So dopa anyway, you have to remember this word dopa. It's a common term. So car by topa. Then comes benzaraside. So benz side. So the story is 
someone is standing beside the bends in this era and era means time so it's like bends and bends is car and then side so era so imagine you someone is standing beside it's one photograph where someone is standing beside bends so you can place yourself there so it's bends are reside so that way you it's easy it will be easy for you to remember then comes m a o b inhibitors full of spellings right so example is zelage line c how to split that c leg line so you can ask uh, you are asking someone to see leg and followed by line okay see leg line so we use uh, usually say uh, see my leg uh, wound uh, see my wound in the leg so it's like see leg line instead of wound you can say see leg line then comes COMT inhibitors okay examples are endocapone and telcapone how to split this word ENT ENT we always go to specialist only ENT right then followed by a cap one so here the story is ENT is wearing a cap a person ENT uh, he's uh, wearing a cap only one cap he is wearing okay so ENT a means one only cap he is wearing a cap then one so it's like ENT a cap one then followed by tell cap on so it, here it's uh, we are talking about ENT right so again here we are talking about another person tall his name is tall you can say 12 numerical 12 so here numerical 12 okay so 12 cap 1 so he is also wearing cap 1 so here common word is cap 1 so so let's see and cap 1 12 cap 1 so only you have to change this ENT and TOL then uh, dopamine precursor example is levodopa I told you earlier you have to remember dopa then how can we remember Livo? It's Livy's uh, your favorite t-shirt, right? So dopamine precursor are Livo Topa. So you can split that word to Livo and Topa. Followed by dopamine facilitator. So amantidine is the example. Amantidine. Okay. Here it's a story again. Uh, dine means to have food to eat or uh, dinner like that so it's like um, a man and ta like tata tata so a man and the tata only ta is the non double ta so it's like a man and tata is ha is dining together they are dining to together so a man tata so remember that way this is the story dopamine facilitator is amantadine a man ta die okay then comes antihistamine so orphanentrine and promethazine promethazine it's the pronunciation is promethazine orphanentrine and promethazine so again he says story orphan we are talking about a orphan only one orphan is there a orphan so it's like a orphan and then dying so again dying is coming please not only the spelling here is extra r is the previously also dying was the here also drying is the orphan and train okay then next word is promethazine so you can remember this i guess then come central anticholinergic drugs. This is trixyphenidyl. So how can we remember this? Tri means three hex hex c. Then p hem ida. So this is a story. We are talking about peacock here. So for p female peacock, we usually say p hen. So there are three peahen which they are sexy and ideal for taking photos. 
so it's there are three sexy and peahen about whom we are talking about peahen we are talking then they are ideal to take your photo triaxi finantile okay so central anticholinergics uh, example is triaxi finantile 